Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to do a voltage drop test on the charging system. Now, voltage drop testing is pretty important because quite often you might have a charging system problem where, you know, when the car runs, it's drawn the battery, the battery dead, um, and instead of the alternator being bad, the, the problem is actually a bad connection either at the battery or at the alternator or some bad wiring or something like that. And so voltage drop testing the charging system is so easy to do that it is something that should should be done prior to replacing any alternator. So we've got here a 2007 Chevy Malibu and it's got the 3.5 liter V6. This is actually a very easy vehicle to do this test on so that's part of the reason why we're, we're demonstrating on, on this particular vehicle. Uh, the reason that it is so simple is because the alternator, you know, once the cover is removed off the top of the engine, the alternator is right back there. And you can see the, the output terminal for the alternator. I've already got the rubber boot pulled back on it. And then underneath the, the battery cover, of course, we have the battery and we can access those terminals very easily. So the only thing that we need to do this voltage drop test is uh, a DVOM or just a, just a voltmeter set to 3 DC volts. So, first we need to do the voltage drop test on the positive side of the circuit. So the actual output side of the alternator circuit or the charging system circuit. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my red lead from my meter and I'm going to attach it to the alternator output. And I'm gonna try to put it right, I'm gonna clip it right onto that, right onto that output terminal stud. If I can get it to stay on there, okay? So now that's in place. And now we're, we're testing the positive side of the circuit. So voltage drop testing is looking for resistance in the wiring. So we are on the positive side of the circuit, which means our other lead, or our black lead, needs to go to the other end of the positive side of the circuit, okay? Alternator's putting out juice. That electricity is flowing over to the battery up to the, the positive the positive terminal of the battery. So we're gonna clip on to the positive battery post like that, okay? So you can see we've got our red lead on the battery output and our black lead on the positive battery terminal, okay? So what this will do is this will show us if there is any resistance or if we are dropping any voltage on the positive side of this charging system circuit. If we have excessive resistance on the positive side of this charging system circuit, then that resistance is going to use up voltage, okay, as that current flows through the resistance. So let's go back and see what our meter says. Okay, you can see that our meter reads 0 0.17, 0 0.18 volts. Okay, so maybe almost two tenths of a volt, a little less than two tenths of a volt. So okay, is that good or bad or, or what? Well, on the positive side of just about any electrical circuit, okay, except for some, well, except for most electronic control circuits, on the positive side of the circuit, the specification that we are going to use is 0.5. So that means we should not lose more than a half a volt. And that's pretty generous. Okay, that's pretty generous. We should not lose more than a half a volt on the positive side of this circuit. And obviously we are well below a half a volt. We are only at 0.1 volts or point, you know, almost, almost 0.2 volts. So that's not too bad. All right, so the positive side of the circuit is good. That tells us that the connection at the alternator, the connection at the battery, and all the wiring in between is in good shape. So now let's check the ground side of the circuit because the ground is also very important. So we need to check the ground side of this circuit. All right, so what we're going to do then is we are going to go to the most negative point at the alternator and we are going to go to the most negative point at the battery. I'm going to take our black lead that was on the positive battery cable and I'm going to attach it just to the alternator housing. And we can literally, we can literally attach this anywhere. I'm just going to clip on right there like that so I'm on the metal housing of the alternator. 
Then I'm going to take this red lead and I'm going to attach it to the negative battery terminal. Okay, now, current in any circuit, of course, flows all the way through the circuit. So you find current flow in the positive side of the circuit, in the negative side of the circuit. Now the voltage you only find on the positive side of the circuit. So if we were um, measuring voltage, um, or looking for any kind of significant voltage on the negative side of a circuit, obviously we shouldn't see any. Um, but anyway, we've got our leads in position here to look for any voltage drop or any potential difference that might exist between one side of the negative circuit and the other side of that negative circuit. So now we go look at our voltmeter and you can see we have 0 0.01. Okay, so 0 0.01 volts being dropped on the negative side of this charging system circuit. Our specification that we're going to use, just general specification for the negative side of an electrical circuit is no more than 0 0.2 volts being dropped. Well, we're well below 0.2. So this particular um, circuit looks to be in good shape. We don't have excessive voltage drop on the, the positive side nor on the negative side of this circuit. If we had, let's say for example, we had something like on this negative side of the circuit, let's say we had 0.6 volts or something like that. The thing that we are going to want to check is we're going to want to check our connection at our negative battery post and we are going to want to check the mounting of the alternator. Now there's no negative wire coming off of the alternator on just a regular car like this. So that means we're grounding through the housing, through the engine, okay, and then the negative battery cable which attaches to the engine somewhere um, or the transmission on the uh, on this particular vehicle actually I think it's, it's right down in there. But anyway, we want to check those connections because those are going to be the, the things where we're most likely to see a problem. So even though we're not dealing with a lot of wiring on the negative side of an alternator circuit, um, there is a circuit there and there are connections and so we want to check the connections that are there. So practice this on just about any car. Um, it doesn't matter too much, honestly, where you put which color lead. Okay, so you can see right here we've got Point, you know, it's saying 0 0.13, 0 0.14. If I accidentally put these leads on wrong, so I'm going to swap these around. I'm going to put the negative lead over here. And I'm going to put the positive lead over here. And then we'll go back and look. Now you can see we have pretty much the same reading. The only difference is now we have a negative sign all the way there to the left. And so that's the only thing that results if you get the leads hooked up backwards. You still get the same reading. So putting the red lead in one particular place and the black lead in one particular place, it doesn't really matter as long as you have both of your leads, you know, one lead in one spot where it ought to be and one lead in another spot. It doesn't matter, you know, the color or the, the polarity on the leads as long as you remember just to ignore that negative sign because the reading will always be the same. So. That's voltage drop testing a charging system circuit. It is very simple and honestly very seldom done out in the real world. And uh, I can say from experience that there's been plenty of times where I've seen a problem, a charging system problem, and did a voltage drop test and it was just a loose connection and not an alternator. So, you know, we want to, we want to do the things to fix a customer's car that the car actually needs and we don't want to do too much. Um, so doing this quick little test will, will help you to make sure that you're, you're always on the right track in your, your diagnosis and repair uh, of charging systems.